Hi, I'm Adam, and this is how to use Flashpoint Fire Rescue in your school or homeschool setting. In Flashpoint, you are taking on the role of a firefighter. You're going to be putting out fires, you're going to be saving people, you're going to be knocking down doors or breaking walls, but regardless, the, the ultimate goal is that you need to save people from a burning building. Flashpoint is a game for ages 10 and up, although you can definitely go lower than that. Um, it takes about 45 minutes to play, and it's for two to six players. Flashpoint is really heavy on team cooperation. Everybody has their own special skills that they're gonna bring to the fire, and you really need to lean on those skills and allow those people to do that thing. This really teaches kids to not try to always be the hero, but instead really help the team as a whole. Otherwise, you all will fail together. We use this game a lot to teach our secondary language, and you can use it too. After you have the basics down of your secondary language, you can use this to really form sentences and ideas, explaining to the other players why you think it's best for your firefighter to do this, that, or the other thing, and other people will want to give their opinion of saying, no, I really think you should do this, that, or that. Um, and so it really pushes your ability to speak in a different target language. After the game, you can take time to discuss the different roles in a fire department, how they all work together, how they best work together in your game, how you think they work together in, an, in a real fire department, in a real fire emergency. You can take this as a great opportunity to discuss fire safety. And this game leads itself up really well to that because it's just a grid. And so that way you can have each of the kids draw up their own floor plan of their own homes and play the game in their actual house. How best are they able to escape from their fire in their own home environment? And how best should they escape from a, from a fire that actually happens in their house? You can also take this as a time to discuss historical fires, the, the fires that have really changed how fire departments work and function, um, and how they have affected, especially in this game, how, how they have affected uh, how you play, and how maybe you would have had to play if those changes hadn't been made. What is your favorite resource for discussing fires and fire safety? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.